Boy as if Soldier Boy being free was in a worse position than him being in jail, supposedly catching squabbles all day. This is what he said. I love it here. Active, it's cracking. It's the only place you can fuck over and you might go to jail for it. Because I'm already in jail for it. <laughs> oh, that's my crib, man. Hey, I love you, girl. You know I'm going to be home so way before the date. So, yeah, let them know I said that. That's why. And there ain't no soldier boy niggas in here. Everybody with the, yeah, everybody with the full fledged. Ain't nobody in here talking about some, oh, no. Oh, the address. Well, bye, bye, please. I love it here. Okay. It didn't only stop there. Sent another voicemail or voice note today. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, the famous crib. Oh, that's why. Niggas talking high power. I ain't never been on high power. I'm on a 3100 foot. Still the gore. Pop the dough, nigga. That's why. Good boy, good. Probably should not trust me because I am not a trustee in this motherfucker. I don't know why soldier weapons are popping it. Any nigga happy that a nigga in jail, he the type of nigga to tell. We already heard Kurt was in here on PC, yellow jumpsuit, eating applesauce and lunchables and shit. Cause I'm in here really, yeah, 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 I fuck all that though, man. I know all my bitches out there fagging off, man. It's regular though. Remember this, young black kings. They might take a nigga freedom, cuz. They might take a nigga bitch, cuz. But they can't never take my dick. Oh, that's why I got my dick in my hand right now. Still your crib, nigga. Bop. Okay. Oh, it's not that. Blue face, baby. Yeah, all right, man. Shout out to all my fans. If y'all want to come visit me at the LA County Jail, click this link. they going to walk you through it. Okay. Now, th this circus is continuing. I think that was the last thing he was saying. Hey, say. yeah, 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 uh, it's the same. He, he calls whatever he got going on in the circus. Regardless, let me see if I can find this other thing. Essentially, number one, I ain't going to lie to you, man. Blueface seems to be setting himself up for some really bad results. He's been getting a lot of chances and opportunities. First of all, you shot somebody in the hand. You got probation. You're not going to jail. You violate your probation because you're beefing with your baby moms and you went to the place they say you shouldn't go to. You got in another fight and caught another charge because they said you uh, stole somebody's phone, right? Because you snatched their phone or whatever the case is. Blueface seems like he won't learn until he got to go sit down for like a good bit. Because right now he's locked up and they're saying he's supposed to be out in like July or August. But L.A. County is so overcrowded. Most likely, he'll be out in three weeks. Might even be out before the Super Bowl. I think the Super Bowl is like, uh, is the second week of, of when's that? Is the second week of um, February? Yeah, he might be out before then. So I think that's why he's kind of taking it as a joke. I would just hope that he realizes that, number one, he's not really making hits like that no more. And all of this like excitement and intrigue that he has gotten on himself for his relationship with his baby mamas or whatever the case is, man, he, he can't throw it away. This crash out shit is going to be the demise of his. So, you know, again, whether he's going to do music or not, I definitely do root for him. And um, pretty much that's it. I, I feel like he just won't learn, though. Like, the nigga just won't learn. Like, he's waiting for something really bad to happen to him where he's going to have to go do, like, five actual years. And that's when he'll be able to, like, take shit serious because right now, He's looking at everything like a goddamn joke. Okay. What is all this? Kevin Gates and Drika still going? Okay, I thought they broke up. Um, Let me see. While he was locked up, though, which, you know what I mean? I, I don't know, like, his situation with, like, his, his women. But apparently, like, his baby mama, the one that he keeps saying is so loyal, not Krishan Rock, because he said Krishan Rock's a whore. His baby mama was, like, caught in a club, like, kissing, like, some other dude. Or not, not some other dude, but some, sorry, some lesbian. Let me see. Here we go. Oh, 
Okay. Which, by the way, like, this is such a weird relationship they all have. This thing was swearing this girl is like so much about him. As soon as he get locked up, this is what she did. This is the one he wrote the Barbie song for. This is one they call Stewie. So she's over here making out with this nigga. Or I, I think I think it's a um it's a lesbian. But yeah, here she is again with the lesbian. Which I don't know if that's cheating, right? Is it cheating if uh your girl is making out with a lesbian or a stud? I don't know. So baby I would think it is. But regardless, Blueface seems like he doesn't give a fuck. The other one. The other one is like trying to get back in that place, and I ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes, sometimes I feel even corny for covering this shit. But uh, the other one uh, now is back on the. It's like it's like some real pimping shit he got going on. Now, Krishan, who was saying she couldn't wait for him to get sent to jail, is now saying, "I'm locked up too. I'm waiting for daddy." Who is she speaking about? She's clearly speaking about Blueface. Look. <laughs> Yeah, when I see shit like this, I'm like, I think that we're all getting played. Happy birthday, daddy. Free you. Okay, whatever. All right. Um, the O Block 5, man. Yo, they, yo, they got, like, locked up. To be honest, I thought this was an open and shut case. Like, you know, obviously th there was a lot of, uh, let me not say great moments, but a lot of, like, in interesting moments that kind of came out of this case. But it was a federal case, so you had to essentially go there, and it was not going to be televised. So that's why, like, that case was way more entertaining than this. Man, I want to make this short and simple. No one should be surprised Krishan Rock is acting the way she's acting. Her and Blueface are four lifers. They will be in together. In, they will be in each other's life forever. They will never cut each other off fully. They just have a full-on, beyond toxic relationship. She loves that man and he loves her back. He, Blueface is the type of nigga he will never admit how much he loves Krishan, but he loves the fuck out that girl. He gets so mad anytime any other man or anything tries talking to her or anything. And he tries to play it off. And I know what he does. He, When he's really mad at her, he goes and treats Jadian good as fuck. But he doesn't really care about Jadian. I feel like he does care about Jadian, but he... His main thing is Krishan. He loves Krishan way more than he loves Jadian. Like, let's keep it a bean. It's just, you feel me? Krishan, she probably be thawing and doing all sorts of shit. So, you feel me? Blueface bound is bullshit. Plus, Blueface, he still wants to fuck other bitches, but you feel me? He wants Krishan just to sit there and be okay with it. And obviously, she's not. And they probably both love the toxic shit, but now he's locked up. She's missing him. And shit. We only see what we see online. It's 24 hours in a day. They might tweet like once or twice, but they might be beefing online laid up right next to each other. So it's like, we really shouldn't even speak about their relationship. I really hoped and wish that Krishan and Blueface were left back in 2023 with Krishan Jr. too. Um, And yeah. But let me know what you guys feel about the whole situation. Uh, They're in a full-on toxic relationship. And yeah, it's your boy Big Act News and I'm out.